हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय डिजिटल क्लास एंड टुडे आई टेक क्लास फॉर क्लास नाइन बायोलॉजी एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज व्हाई डू वी फॉल इल नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर we have to understand or we should know what is health what do you mean by health now health it has been viewed by different people in different ways in our society various people gives various definition about health for example a farmer considers himself as a healthy if he can do his work properly if he can plow his field properly grow vegetables and all then he considers himself as a healthy person whereas a bodybuilder or a wrestler considers his muscles and well built up body as a health models they consider their slim and trim bodies as their health generally when is to call ourselves healthy if we don't if we don't fall sick so or we can say that if we are free from any kind of disease so there is different views on health but the world health organization has defined health as a state of complete physical mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of a disease this is the definition given by who health also it can be defined as the harmonious balance with our immediate environment the physical environment climate weather temperature everything when we have that perfect harmony with the, our external environment that is also termed as health now as we see in uh, the definition given by who it has been mentioned over there that it is a complete physical mental and social well being so let us see first of all what are those physical mental and social dimension when you say about physical dimension now physical dimension what is that physical health it implies the perfect hum perfect functioning of all the organs and the systems of the body our body is uh, made up of different kinds of organs and collection and uh, depending on the types of function these organs are uh, connected with different kinds of systems now here we are having various kinds of organ systems in our body like respiratory digestive then nervous system then excretory systems okay now these organs or the organ systems they function with jointly with one another if any of the organ fails to do its function properly in, properly then what happens there is a disturbance in the body and as a, as a result we fall sick now a person who has crippled arm or legs he cannot be considered as a healthy person in mental dimension now what is mental dimension over there 
Mental health implies a state of balance and harmony between the individual and the surrounding world. A mentally balanced person is free from anxieties and tension, can take active parts in any kind of work, can uh, solve any kind of abstract problems, have that, uh, the capacity to apply their intellectual knowledge, intellectual capacity to solve any kind of problems or any kind of uh, tensions or have the mentally fit or mentally healthy person has the control over his emotional power. Social dimension. As you know, human being is a social animal and lives and works along with the other people, whether it is at home or at uh, workplace or at educational institution or in the neighbor. A person will term he is a socially healthy person if he has a good relation with his immediate or with his uh, neighbors, with his friends, classmates or colleagues. If he can adjust with them in different situations, if he is popular among the society and all, we should term that person as a socially healthy person. A person is a socially healthy if he has a good job, a good house, a happy family, good neighbors and understanding friends. Why will say that that person will be a socially healthy person? Because at that time his mind will be tension free. He can do any kind of work with proper interest and enthusiasm. Now, as we have seen that health means a state of physical, mental and social well-being. Now we have studied earlier also and we know that health cannot be borrowed or it cannot be gifted. It health we have to acquire with our own active efforts. Health cannot be uh, achieved by taking a pill or any kind of medicine. Our health is also depends upon the uh, uh, depends upon our surrounding environment. If we have good health, it will make us happy and will remain cheerful. And it is very much essential as a student also, we should be happy and cheerful, we should have a perfect health so that we can complete our studies, our education properly and also for the professional life also. Now, when we are unhealthy, what happens? It makes us uncomfortable, it makes or it makes us uncomfortable in both physical way as well as in mental way. Physical way, when we are unhealthy, frequently we may suffer with various kinds of disease, pain and all these things. As a result, there will be some physical problem 
and mentally when we are we are unhealthy we are when we are sick we cannot do our normal work properly we cannot study properly we cannot play properly as a result what happen our mind gets disturbed so we can find that whenever or if we are unhealthy it affects us both physically and mentally our health is also dependent on the economic condition economic status better economic condition and uh, a job good job it is absolutely essential for an individual's health which enables an individual individual to consume or to take proper diet proper nutritionist diet and also other food items which are essential for our good health in addition to personal well being our community plays an important role in the maintenance of health generally what happen we feel depressed or we feel sad when we have a say a tip with someone or say some kind of uh, mal adjustment with the friends with uh, say some kind of quarrel that makes us sad that makes us depressed now another way also we feel depressed we feel sad or unhappy when we find that our surroundings are very much dirty or polluted garbages are scattered here and there uh, drains are overflown it is not clean all smells are coming not only it will make our mind depressed or it will make us sad but also such condition if we live in a such condition for long period of time we may fall sick with various kinds of communicable diseases because in that uh, condition the germs uh, will prevail uh, the uh, mosquitoes and flies will spread all these kinds of germs to our neighborhood or to our home so that goes about that uh, three dimensions and its effects on our health next we'll see about what is disease now what is disease all of us we know what is disease because in our life or by this time all of us either one time or another we fall sick we have suffered either maybe with fever or body aches cold diarrhea dysentery vomiting or maybe some other body disturbance which we generally call disease that disturbance that body disturbance it affects our health and a number of factors like disease causing organism or malfunctioning of the uh, vital organs or maybe uh, whenever we are uh, or someone doesn't takes a proper nutritious diet he may suffer with a kind of disease which is generally termed as deficiency diseases or maybe psychological reason so diseases may be 
of different but all kind of diseases causes anxiety mental disturbance and physical disturbance to our body so generally we can say that this is that is lack of comfort whenever we feel any kind of uh, discomfort in our body we may term this one as a disease that discomfort may cause due to various factor again that all these things it may be uh, it may be physical factors it may be mental factors or it may be social factors but what i may be that condition it is termed as disease now a condition in which a body health is impaired or a departure from a state of health and alteration of human body interrupting the performance of vital organ when our organs vital organs cannot pro perform properly that times it will show some kind of disturbance in the body and as a result it will cause some kind of discomfort in our body now at such condition what happens our both the body or some parts of the organ or some parts of the body their normal function gets disturbed so how will define disease we can define disease is there like that the disease is just the opposite of health that is a disease is the malfunctioning of body organs due to one reason or other next we'll see what are the different types of diseases if we classify disease it may be broadly grouped into two types communicable disease or infectious disease and non communicable disease or non infectious disease now first of all say let us what is communicable disease now communicable diseases are those which are passed from one person to another in various ways these communicable diseases are caused generally by microorganisms but as we know that not all microorganism causes diseases in our body millions and millions microorganisms are in and around our body out of this only a few percentage causes diseases in our body so the microorganism that causes diseases in our body they are termed as germs or pathogens these germs may travel from one person to another or in specific you can say it travels from a sick person to another person through air water food physical contacts and by insects or animals the term communicable disease it came from to communicate that means it's from one person to another it the disease the, those diseases that spreads from, from one person to another through these pathogen germs are termed as agents the medium through which these diseases spreads are termed as environment and hosts that means the affected person is now host may be any kind of living organism it may be plants it may be animals 
including human beings okay next one is non communicable diseases non communicable diseases are those which cannot spread from a person to person that means what that these diseases remain confined to the diseased person and do not infect that disease do not get transmitted to others by contacts or by any kind of carriers non communicable disease generally occurs through this like uh, if any organs or organ system doesn't function properly then in that case the disease that occurs these are termed as non communicable disease like communicable disease examples uh, we can give uh, typhoid malaria influenza whooping cough diphtheria cholera so many and very recent this covid 19 disease is a highly communicable disease whereas non communicable diseases examples we can say like uh, hemophilia obesity marasmus quashikar diabetes arthritis cancer etc so this disease like diabetes arthritis cancer heart disease hemophilia this disease it does not spread from one person to another it remains confined so this is about non communicable disease now whatever it may be whatever types it may be whether it is communicable disease or non communicable disease three things are common for this uh, two types of diseases like uh, causative factors how it causes then the symptoms uh, for each kind of diseases whether it is communicable disease or non communicable disease there are certain symptoms are there and uh, by knowing the symptoms and all physicians they used to determine what kind of diseases it is and accordingly they used to give medication to prevent or to get it from such kind of diseases and also all diseases communicable or non communicable diseases have preventive measures how to prevent such diseases next we'll see what is meant by acute and chronic diseases now among various kinds of diseases some diseases are there which last only for short period of time so the diseases which last for only short period of time and of course are severe these are termed as acute diseases and on the other hand uh, diseases which are long lasting takes time to cure these are termed as chronic diseases now chronic diseases have drastic long term effects on individuals body or individuals health acute diseases which last only for short period of time they do not cause so much bad effects on individuals health as chronic disease used to cause now comes uh, question comes what is uh, what are acute diseases examples the acute diseases as we told that the diseases which last only for short period of time uh, so here the examples we can give cough cold cholera typhoid etc okay. so these are termed as acute diseases whereas chronic diseases like tuberculosis 
arthritis, diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, elephantasis. These are termed as chronic diseases. This last for a long period of time and it is to cause some drastic effect, long term effects on the health of the individual. So that goes about the acute disease and chronic disease. Acute disease, as mentioned, it uh, lasts for a short time and have no time to cause major effects on our health. Say, if we suffer from cough and cold, we can recover from such diseases within a week or so, within a short period of time. Also, there are no bad effects on our body. But in case of uh, chronic diseases, the situation is different. In chronic diseases, for example, in case of tuberculosis or cancer or any kind of heart diseases, the patient needs to take the treatment for a long period of time and the body organs gets affected and as a result what happens? The individual suffers with poor health for a long period of time. As I told you earlier, that uh, for any kind of disease, there are causes, symptoms and preventive measures. So let us see what are the causes of disease. Causes of disease for uh, communicable disease, the causes are of one type. In non-communicable disease, causes are of different types. Now, one of such causes is infection by microorganism. Now, microorganisms, the various disease causing microorganisms are classified into bacteria, virus, fungi, protozoa, etc. and also worms. Then, another cause may be malfunctioning of body organs. In case of infections, infection by microorganism, it generally used to term them as a communicable disease and malfunctioning of body organs, uh, we generally term this one as non-communicable disease. Now, non-communicable diseases like diabetes and heart diseases are caused by the malfunctioning of pancreas and heart respectively. Another cause may be deficiency. Deficiency disease. Now, in that case, deficiency of one or more nutrients in our diet for a long period of time may cause some kind of disease. This may, these, uh, the examples are goiter, marasmus, quad shaker. These diseases occur due to malfunction, due to uh, say, not taking proper kind of nutritious diet. So, like uh, vitamins or minerals, it may cause deficiency diseases. Genetic factor is another cause of disease. A person from the birth no, may suffer from hemophilia. Hemophilia is a genetic disease. Genetic disease generally spread from one generation to another generation. Okay. But it is not a communicable disease. It is termed as genetic or hereditary disease. Or uh, another cause may be the living in a polluted environment. Now, it is not necessary that uh, disease may be due to a 
single cause. For example, diarrhea is caused by a bacteria. The disease is also caused if we do not drink clean water. If we take polluted water, it may cause diarrhea or dysentery. Lack of proper public services may be still another cause of the disease. Now, as I told you earlier, that these microorganisms or the pathogens, those causes disease, are termed as agents because they spread disease. They introduce disease to another person, from one person to another person. So, if we classify them like uh, agents, bacteria, it is an agent. And bacteria causes what kind of disease? Name of the disease? Examples? Bacteria causes tuberculosis, diphtheria, typhoid, anthrax, whooping cough, cholera, tetanus, leprosy, conjunctivitis, gonorrhea, syphilis, or diarrhea diseases. All these diseases are caused by bacteria. Viruses. First of all, this COVID-19 will come. COVID-19 caused by COVID virus. Then common cold, dengue fever, mumps, AIDS, influenza, measles, chicken pox, poliomyelitis, rabies, Japanese encephalitis, trachoma. So all these diseases are caused by viruses. Ringworm, Athletes' food, skin infection, these are caused by fungi. Malaria, colour, sleeping sickness, and amoebiasis, generally what we used to, call, used to call dysentery, these are caused by protozoa. And various kinds of worms are there that causes diseases, these are filariasis, or generally used to no, this one is elephantiasis or ascariasis. So these, these diseases caused by worms.